concern for our first responders. And now we have a News 4 exclusive. The NYPD Commissioner Dermot Shea just took part in a roll call at a station house in Manhattan. Officers trying to stay safe from the coronavirus. The I team's Jonathan Deans was the only reporter inside the first precinct station house when the commissioner spoke. Johnson's in Tribeca. Jonathan? Yeah, across the city, 20 NYPD officers and civilians now testing positive. Uh, the police commissioner says that number is expected to grow. Numerous officers here at the first precinct, in addition, calling in sick. The police commissioner, a short time ago, visiting the roll call here this yeah. afternoon. He thanked officers for their work. He uh, spoke about how police are adding patrols to supermarkets and at hospitals, where down the road at those hospitals, officials are warning. Of a possible shortage of critical care beds. Shea, Shea says for the NYPD, as testing grows, so will the number of officers and first responders who have the virus. Um, we're up to 20. The very, very good news is 20 for 20 are home recovering. Uh, nobody's hospitalized. So that's, that's where we are. Those numbers are going to grow. They're going to grow because we're starting to test more and more citywide. A new testing site open today at Aqueduct Racetrack. That is a new testing site. Police, fire, EMS personnel can, with a doctor's note, can now go there to be tested. This added site meant to give first responders more timely testing. We're told more than a half dozen fire department uh, personnel are now sick with the virus as well, and that number, we're told also, expected to grow. Shea says as sick calls increase, the NYPD has the resources. To shift those around to make sure coverage across the city continues to help keep the city safe. Live outside the first precinct, Jonathan Deanst, News 4.